my bait's full, stocking out my booth. Thought I'd check out the bins. Let's see what they have to offer today. I'm excited. filled up a whole basket. I'm not going to show you everything because it's just too much. But <laughs> I found several, like right in there, that's some Harley t-shirts. I found three or four of those. Um, got this for me. It's a candle. Ooh, it's loud here. Candle holder type thing. Of course, they'll charge, you know, like a dollar for that or whatever. Found several of these. These are not the shiny brights, but I do sell these. I got four boxes of those. Found things like, um, let's see, let me pull it out. I've just got so much stuff. Oh my gosh, I've got so much to do. Look, all of this from three days of shopping. Um, things like old ornaments. I'll probably let my baby play with this for a while. But an older Mickey who rocks and talks and this type of stuff for her as we can sterilize those things like pins and I found a whole bunch of these like I don't know how many packs of these and in another kind that's the tops these are all op uh, unopened what year was it was that 1991 yeah because of desert storm but it was desert storm and desert shield and a couple other different things but I got a bunch of those and they just charged me four dollars for all of them and it's a big old bag full of them got things along the lines of like skip bow that's complete um, I thought these were cute I thought they might would sell on marketplace it was only two of them in there but you know if people have kids and they want them to eat off a mini plate there it is they're Melmac um, what else did I get? There's some more of these. This is the other kind. Desert Shield. So I got several of those. This is a J. Mar brand. And it's all here. A little tea set. That'll sell on Marketplace. If it doesn't, I'll put it online. Stuff like that usually will sell. Especially now with Christmas time. Uh oh, that got smushed. It was already smushy. I saw that these were selling for around 15 This is signed. It's the Blue Angels Best Wishes poster, and that's a 2001. Right nearly vintage, as they say. Um, what else might be interesting? A couple other card games. Got this. He looks like he's in good shape. Got a little friend. Um... Oh, these sell really well. These are the presentation Bible, like um, when somebody's passed away or for special events. This one, Deepest Sympathy here from the auto workers, and they would give the Bible. Well, apparently somebody kept the Bible or it got separated. But these boxes sell for around 15 or so. You know, so those are really neat. People use them for jewelry boxes and treasure boxes and things. This is the Pimsleur um, Learn French 
CDs inside and it's like brand new. I don't think it's ever been used. These usually sell for around 25. This is a CD player. It's Curtis brand and at least part of it works because it's lit up and I heard the radio on it so I know that that works. That part of it. These little things sell really well. The snow bells. It's three of them in this package, and these will usually sell for around $10 a piece. So I've got three of those in there, and that was a dollar. Mm -hmm. Something for my kids to play, and then I'll probably try and sell it, either in my booth or wherever. Mini bingo. What else we got? Oh, I don't know if I want to dig down in there. What else was something interesting? Another bop it. Anyway, you get the idea. I bought a bunch of junk. Good junk. Junk is always good. Well, that's my last trip for a couple of days. Bye bye, Goodwill. I wish you would let me spend the night. I could probably find a lot of stuff. <laughs> Happy junking, y'all. I went a second day. This is the day after the first trip to the bins. And I'll show you real quick what I found. I found a Super Bowl champion hat. Found some books for my grandbaby. Wool paint for my other grandbaby. And this is all brand new and it's not dried up or anything. It's in good shape. Except for me throwing it. <laughs> Vintage book, Mother Goose. And overall, it's in pretty good shape. I'm throwing things everywhere. I won't be able to sell them, will I? Gotta love vintage Tupperware. This has got all the pieces inside, which is cool. Let's see. And they look like they're in really good shape. Clean and everything. It's about a $25 piece right there. Tupperware sells really well. The vintage does. What else did I find? I'm not going to take them out. I found a lot of the air pumps, brand new in box, um, heaters, coils, the tubing and things like that for the aquariums. I found this old beret. Don't know anything about it. Have to look it up. It's got an old tag that's unreadable that's on here. And then sewn in number. So we're going to see what that's about. That'll be cool. I don't make, mean to make you dizzy. Sorry. Uh, I can pull these out. I think that's all that's in there is those aquarium things. There may be a random something down in there, but I think that's all that was in there. Got um, one of these. I'll probably try and sell it locally, but this is brand new in box. It's never been used. It's one of the cardio sets. Found this for my baby. And it works. Got that for a dollar. Got some brown wrapping paper. We always need that, right? At times. I snagged this blue, uh, blue Friday. Listen to me, I'm so tired. Black Friday style. <laughs> I snagged that. It's brand new in box. It's a collectible 1992. That'll go for around 30 according to the eBay thing. Uh, this is brand new in box. The box is worn and everything, but this is brand new. I opened it all up, and it's still got the packing, and looks like it hasn't ever been used. It's not greasy or anything, but this is like one of the little um, poppers. It's got a TJ Maxx on here. It's, I think I looked it up, and it was around 22 for it. I'll sell it locally as well. Then I also found this right here. I plugged it in and it didn't run. But some of these you have to engage, actually engage the can for it to run. So I took a chance on it at two bucks. I figured it was worth trying, but it's one of the rival cut above space saver style. Usually those things sell for around 20, 25, depending on what brand it is on the rival. They usually sell for that. This is a Garmin. I gave two bucks for that. We'll see if that works. I'll try it on the way home. 
And then I also got, I had a lady circling me, she really wanted this. <laughs> but I grabbed it too, it's a wearing brand stand mixer. It's got all the parts to it and this actually does run. It's got the manual and everything down in there. It doesn't look like it was used very much at all. So, and I got five bucks for it. So, all in all, it was a good day. I love the bin store. Before my battery runs out, I'll just show you at least a few things that I got. I'm not going to unwrap this poster, but it's a shooter's poster. It shows all of the different drink uh, the beverages and things like that. It's a 19... where is it? 1994. It was in good shape. It was in a poster frame, but they let us take those out and they charge us less for them. This one is dangerous gases and you can imagine what the picture is. It's a guy, you know, with gas. <laughs> but junk like that sells on Marketplace, so I'll probably try it there first. I do pick up some of the Barney DVDs. They do sell well. I found a Pioneer um, remote. I save these up when I find them, and then I sell them in lots at the little children's hangers. They sell pretty well, actually. Um, found a set of three of these little carolers. Let's see. It's got the little picks in the bottom, so it was probably in a arrangement of some sort, but those will sell. Those are little vintage ones. I found two of these cups. I may end up keeping one. Don't know. I trade my cups around all the time, sell the old ones and get new ones, but happy being me, and I ended up finding two of them in two different bins, so that was kind of cool. These boxes, the Invicta watch boxes will sell for around 10 to 15 depending on what this one's called the wave i think and it'll probably sell pretty well i save up the little people when i find them this is a keychain but it actually if it works it will play the game on that what else did i find i like the salad shooters but this is the super shooter for the canapé and candy maker and it has all of its parts it's still got the styrofoam and everything in there i'm not going to open it all up it was 4.99 at um goodwill so i think they charged me two dollars for that if i remember right found a couple of the vintage it's the real thing coca-cola sun hats i found a coonskin hat a lot of this stuff i'm just going to throw out on marketplace first see if it sells if it doesn't then i'll take the time to list it this is a kangle brand let me show you the tag first kangle brand hat feels like angora i'll have to look and see what all it says i don't know let's see does it say no but it feels like angora may not be but that's pretty that's kind of a paper boy style they charged me two dollars for one of the Medela pumping style and I've got the charger for it I don't have anything else with it but this will usually sell for around 20 to 30 depends on you know what attachment you've got with it I do have the charger for it there I found these I can't believe people were walking all around these these are the Bops brand real boho hippie looking cowboy but they got a lot of things going for them they need some cleanup those usually sell for around 25 which I was glad to find those. I found a Melissa and Doug. This is missing one piece, but I'm going to try and sell it on Marketplace. If I don't, probably save it for Marjorie, my baby. But it's a puzzle interlocking pieces. It's missing one little piece, it looks like. Always buy the Paw Patrol. These are worth around 12 to 15 Somebody just tossed it in there. That's Alex. I found a L.L. Bean um, cell phone charger. It's got all kinds of doodahs on here, and it actually works. It's the one that a wind. So that I think the price on it was around twenty-two, something like that. And I also found this. This is worth around twenty-five. This is the Brytec. PS250 Professional Studio Flash. People walking all around it too. Stuff like that will 
sell pretty easily. I usually don't have any trouble. And last but not least, this is an Orbit brand irrigation piece. I'm going to try it out at my house first and then try and sell that on Marketplace. So, as you can see, the bin store was a lot more productive today than any of the state sales. That's usually the way. <laughs> I got to get home and rest. I'm exhausted. Oh, and it's starting to rain. Happy junkin'.